Hi guys, I want to talk about how to reduce inflammation. Um, in order to reduce inflammation, you got to increase your fiber intake because the food we eat these days, a lot of meat consumption, it's uh, a lot of inflammation. It's like when you have like, when your intestine feels hot, like about to erupt like a volcano, like really hot. And that's when you need uh, fiber. And we don't have enough fiber, it gets stuck in there. It's just hard. The meat products is just hard, you can't push it out. So you need the fiber, the psyllium husk to push everything out. Everything out, like the symptom is that you feel the abdominal pain. To, uh, it's not limiting the, the toxic waste, but when you consume fiber husk, it actually increases your bowel movement. And then uh, if you have like burning or like, uh, it feels hot when you're going having stool or bowel movement. That means you have inflammation, so when you take Psyllium husk, which I recommend is the the now brand. They're known for the psyllium husk. They have the uh, capsule form or the powder form, where you can mix it with juice and you need to drink it. But if you don't drink it fast enough, it comes really uh, thick, like pudding texture. But I usually use it organic uh, lemonade juice and mix it with it, drink it, and then helps me eliminate toxin from uh, increase my bowel movement. It do for a great one, like consume the fiber feels great that's why i have been i uh, haven't been taking fiber lately so i have to increase my fiber intake and i do feel great though so it helps uh, uh, reduce inflammation and and i had a uh, abdominal pain so so that's why you can reduce it for like if you have like fiber deficiency i would never take a uh, milk muso or the other products so hope this video helps you in any shape or form Give me a thumbs up and comment if you have any more questions or you want to ask me a question. Thank you.